a good program. Here, but I mean, how kids like it? Kids love it. Okay. They can't get them to go anywhere else. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a good endorsement. And then they said they had like dining room except for one day you cook in your side. Well, you stay here, you cook in camp. Yeah, one day, right? One day. With a little combination. And do they provide stoves and things, or do you have to bring your own stoves for that one day? You bring your own. You have yeah. to bring your own. They told me that they're they cleared some space this summer, and they're going to set up a an area for troops to come in that want to do patrol cooking. So you could do that all week if you wanted to. Okay. So because there was feedback from this area, um, yeah. it, people said that's what they were looking for. So they're going to try and yeah. accommodate that. That's good. They they rep, they have representatives here at yeah. the, right at that, that meeting at the camp time. meeting. Yeah, yeah. They moved their first year camper program within the camp this last summer mm -hmm. to a different location and where the old first year camper was, which is a fairly large area. I think that's prestigious. Mm -hmm. very good yeah. okay. You know, if they accommodate units well of, uh, you know, 50, 60 people? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Real All the sites I had left were like in the 20s. Because it's, okay. it's fixed because of the four persons per thing. Now. Okay. When they yeah, say yeah. the site holds 28, that means you get seven buildings, is my understanding, okay. right? You're, but they said you can bring a few of your own tents you want. Yes, yeah. you can. There's some sites that are double too. We stayed in one this past year. We had half of it. Okay. So there's a short separation. So if two troops stay, you're not really together. Oh, or there's, there's a little one big troop. Yeah. Or a big troop. Could take yeah. So you could probably stay. get yeah. 50-ish, 48-ish. Okay. Okay. You, you might be late on that one. We'll see. One thing we did for summer camp too, because we try to go out of council quite a bit, is we need equipment kind of, and we do a lot of fundraising too. So we kind of said we're going to do, unless the fever opens, we're going to go to camps over the next three or four years and just try them all. Okay. And use the money we save on not going out of council to buy more equipment. Because we okay. need tents and other stuff that's starting to be a huge cost. Yeah. You know, is. the troops in general. Some yeah. people weren't happy about it, but the parents kind of reluctantly, reluctantly agreed that we need, you know, spend a lot of money on tents. What are you going to do, right? Right, right. Yeah. And you don't need them just for summer camp either. No, you need tents year round. Year round, yeah. They're starting to get kind of afraid. You Phillips too? Yeah, okay. Are you guys together? You're not, are you? No, no Steve no. and I are. Steve, you and Steve. Okay, Steve's been spoken for. Phillips has nice, has nice facilities. There's, okay. there's no doubt about it. I, I wasn't impressed with the, the staffing. You were? I was not. You were not. Compared okay. to some of the other ones I've been to, but I mean, they had what you needed. Okay. But, you know, the lake is awesome. I mean, there's, there's uh, Jeff, how many, probably seven The camp is 1,450 acres. They own four out of five lakes. Wow. Yeah, so there, it's, okay. it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, there's, yeah. there's uh, how many, probably seven or eight sites right along the, the rim of the lake that you, you really have access, rowboat access right out of your site with mm -hmm. uh, uh, rowboat gear and okay. just go when you want to. It's really neat. The dining hall can handle probably 400 people. Okay. And then there's an overflow pavilion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about uh, Tomahawk? At the Rice Lake, anybody been to that? That's a St. Paul Council camp. We did some winter events there, but many years ago, um, they had four different camps and a bunch of different lakes. And I just haven't been there, but it's on my list to check them out. They did a real nice job for us dog sledding and winter camping, but I haven't been there yet. So, anybody been there? No. Okay. Well, we'll have to do our own research on that. Winter program they did there. Uh, they do there, but yeah. nothing, in nothing in the summer, so we don't know what they're like in the summer. Okay. John, was CFL to handle your your size group that you're talking about, or people that have that large yeah. group, is not an issue at not all. An issue. Okay. All their merit badge registration all, and everything is all online. Okay. So you can, uh, it, you, they they allow you to download an app right to your phone, and you can keep a daily track of what's going on as far as merit badges. So mm -hmm. it's not the big, you know, grouping and trying to figure out. Where everybody is on Wednesday night, it's right there on an app for you. Wow. wow. Um, we'll do they they used to charge stuff. ten bucks for their Wi-Fi. It's okay. now free. Okay. Uh, they don't recommend that it be given out to the scouts, okay. <laughs> uh, but the scouters they have a huge pavilion that okay. sets probably four hundred plus people. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, it's an open air pavilion. And uh, they do different programs throughout the week in that area, but there's always Wi-Fi lit up in that pavilion. Okay, great. 
Camp Freeland Leslie. We hadn't heard about it before. They came to that uh, camp. Uh, oh, and, and, and there's a lot of sand in the area, so the yeah. mosquito count way down. Really? Do we vote there, Don? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was on the list when we went through that fair. I mean, they did, a, yeah. I think, a small scale, but they were very, very energetic yeah. presentation. Their, their staff was very professional, very courteous. Okay. Uh, and that was, you know, the guys in the commissary area, as far as how the program worked and everything else, to the, uh, the young man that was our guide for the day. Uh, okay. So, very professional staff. And where are you going this year? We're going to Gardner Dam. Gardner Dam. And these were, this was your second choice. We went out to two yeah, yeah. Uh, initially to look at them. Okay. So, part of us went to Gardner Dam, part okay. of us went okay. to okay. Freeland Lesser. Okay. Right. Great, great. Short. Yeah, we tried to do that too. Oh, well, good. Anybody else? Anybody else have some places that they've been? Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to, to Solis. You are? Okay. But the uh, the committee have voted to say we'll register with the understanding that if a fever opens, we'll yeah. lose that registration. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the fever is in the back uh, of everybody's mind if we can do it, hey? Yeah. Not everybody. Right. We, have, we have the same week, so we said okay. we're going to camp no matter what. Okay, it just good. depends good. on where it's going to be. Good. <laughs> good. Thomas is a real attractive camp. Holy cow. Very hard to get into. <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah. I kind of refer to it as a leaf blower camp. You know, all the trails are pristine and they have everything taken care of wonderfully. And, you know, to them, presentation and looks and everything else, they, their staff just bends over backwards to make the place look and feel and, and everybody's taken care of. And the outhouses are scrubbed for you. And, you know, I mean, it's really a nice place. That dining hall is loud. Yeah. It's, it's, loud. it's loud. It's loud, yeah, right, right. They play music and get all kind of fun games going. It's, it's really a jumping place. They have an ice cream parlor, you know, and that's Yes. Better than slushies. So, um, anything else? Yeah, Jim. Uh, when we went to Gardner Dam, I don't think we realized it, but they have ATVs that the uh, scouts can use, but you have to be pre-certified. Okay, how do you get pre-certified? Uh, training I'm online. I'm not sure, I just know you have to be pre-certified. Okay, so they have an online training course? Well, you, have to, you have to take the DNR uh, online uh, course to DNR. get your license. Okay. Like, I, I, I think it's similar for people who are doing the voting. Okay. You know, or um, yeah. snowmobiles to get okay. a license. Okay. That gets you in there, and then there's just a certain number of people that they can take. Is there an age limit on that? I think it's 14. It is 14. And you gotta have it in two weeks prior. Okay. Okay. And it's probably first come first serve too, I would think. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And Gardner, Gardner Dam, I mean, people are talking about the, the White uh, Wolf River. They have, you know, kayaking for the whole week, and we've had people do that where they, like, mm -hmm. four or five guys and just went mm -hmm. and did, they just did the, the kayaking. Mm -hmm. the okay. Great. I know to Soma's too, just to go back to Soma's for a second, we, um, we, we check them out too, and they have scuba a, a scuba course, scuba certification. They bring an outside third party to come do that. They also run, and I know Makajuan and a bunch of others do this too. They run high adventure programs, so the the whole troop goes here, but they'll take the older guys on up to I don't know if it's the Boundary Waters or they'll do, um, take them up to sea kayaking in Apostle Islands or something. So they run high adventure uh, trips for the older guys out of the camp. So everybody goes to camp, and then they'll bus them somewhere else, if, and then take care of everything if they want to do other things. So I know several camps do that. Mm -hmm. um, Gardner Dam, on uh, their first fire of the uh, week, have a phenomenal order of the arrow fireball. Mm -hmm. Very surreal setting and everything. Um, the only drawback was they did about 25 call-outs, so it took a long time, but phenomenal. Yeah. I actually think it's good. I like Phillips. I've never been to Phillips, so I can't say it. Just from what I've seen there, it's like, wow. And we visited Tosomas and Makajuan. They both have bowls that will accommodate 1,000 or 1,200 people, and they paint the floors with uh, the sand from uh, the, um, what do you call it, from uh, the shingles on the roof, you know, so they, uh, the sand makes different color shingles. Well, they get that sand by the barrel, and they paint the floor with different patterns and mooses and lakes and birds flying and everything else. And then during all their dancing and ceremony, it kind of gets wiped away, and that's okay, because they do a different one next week. So both Makajuan and Tosomas do that. So huge OA ceremonies. And, and, and Makajuan is showing us they have something where, where the, 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 the Native Americans who are participating in the ceremony rise up out of the, out of the fire bowl floor 
Anyway, so pretty pretty intense stuff. So good camps, yeah. Um, one of the